How's it going? In my previous video, I went over the basics of variables in Rust, but in this one, I'll be talking about how we can use data types alongside variables to be more specific. So basically, in my previous video, I type in let x equal 45, which just means I have a variable called x equal to 45. Now, this is obviously a number, but behind the scenes, this is actually of data type i32. So i32 is a signed 32-bit integer in Rust. Now we didn't specify this. That's because Rust basically assumed we meant i32 when we typed in 45. It saw a number and said, okay, you mean i32. But we can actually change this and specify our own variable type. And this is done by putting a colon right in front of the variable name and then the type. So for example, i64 would make the variable x a 64-bit signed integer. So now we have 64 bits of space to work with, meaning we can store larger numbers in the variable x. But sometimes you could be using particular libraries or returning from functions that does require you to specify the actual type um, and it also makes your program a lot more clearer. So for example, if you know that x will never be negative, then you should use an unsigned 64-bit integer because unsigned integers don't support negative numbers. And this obviously, again, makes your program a lot clearer to whoever's reading it. There's also other types, such as floating point numbers. For example, if I type in let f equals 6.7, this is a floating point number behind the scenes and f32. So we can specify f being an f32 type. Of course, we can change it. f64, it works the same. Um, there's also booleans. For an example, let b of type boolean equals false. Boolean is either uh, true or false. But that's it for now. You can go on the Rust documentation and look up the different types. There are many, I'd say about 10 to 15 different types you can use. But essentially, this sort of practice is good to know and it will come in handy. And it does help you understand some of the other code you might see in future. But that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. See you later.